name is Katie Ertl. I am the Senior Vice President of Mountain Operations with Aspen Skiing Company and have been lucky enough to grow up in Aspen Snowmass. Um, thrilled, got to race on Aspen Valley Ski Club and I'm excited to be here for International Women's Day. There is a movie called Aspen Extreme and I was lucky enough when I was 23 to be the stunt double for Bryce along with another woman named Liz Talenfeld. So we got to ski that part in the suit and the wig and the fur mm -hmm. headband. So yeah, I was lucky enough to do that and we did it up here. A lot of the shots were taken up here on Aspen Mountain. Got to be on the Alpine education team for eight years and travel around the world, clinicking other um, and fabulous skiers. And then I was able to be the team's manager for another eight years. So a total of 16 years. My highlight was Austria in 2011. I was thrilled to get 27 team members over there and all together to represent the US and ski instruction. Yay! Um, I am the restaurant GM here at the Surf Lodge. I've, uh, or the Snow Lodge. Or the Snow Lodge. Oh, wait, because this is a Snow Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am a transplant from New York City, and I've been at the Surf Lodge for the past three summers. I own a restaurant in Manhattan, and I'm uh, very excited to be here. I ski, and I'm a hustler, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, and I'm just living my best life here. <laughs> um, I'm Darcy Conover, co-founder and CEO of Corbo. We, my background is as a professional skier and mountaineer for the past 15 years. Um, I've been a snowmass, Aspen Snowmass athlete for t at least 10 years. Um, and we started Corbo because I was allergic to wool and I'd be out in the back country for 10 hours and would break out in hives and that wasn't working. So <laughs> started a sustainable clothing line um, with synthetics and we design everything here in Aspen, test everything here in the Elk Mountains <laughs> and make everything in here in the US. So that's what we, and we wear it every day so we want to be cute. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, my name is Lauren Abraham. Um, I was put on skis at the age of three, banging gates and training to be a ski racer for the Junior Olympics from six to 12. Then I got really rebellious and became a pro snowboarder and became the black sheep of the family <laughs> at 15 years old. Um, I'm from Washington State. Crystal Mountain is my home mountain. It's the most epic terrain, backcountry, extraordinary it's in my blood. And I moved to Lake Tahoe and I lived there for 10 years. And um, I was the fifth fastest snowboarder in the nation for border cross. And I broke both of my ankles, my entire right side of my rib cage, my nose, and my eye socket uh, doing stunt level work for a film. And it put me in a wheelchair for two years, which led me to drug addiction and put me behind bars in jail. I was homeless. It was a disaster. I had everything for my life, and I lost everything. There was a silver lining, and I became a TV host for Fox Sports Net a year later after I got out of jail. And I had a TV show called Rush Hour for four years. Um, with Fox Sports, and then um, I had a show at Destination Wild uh, temporarily, with, also with Fox, and then came here to Aspen to uh, host the X Games, and that was my introductory to beautiful Aspen. And Aspen is my spirit animal, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from South Africa. I arrived about a month ago and I think on like my third day I was here with my boyfriend and all his friends and Barbara came out and she was like, I need someone to man the ice bar. Are you excited? Do you want to do it? I was like, yeah, I'm excited. I am so keen. <laughs> and from then on I just, yeah, everyone is, when I arrived I was so surprised and so like ecstatic because everyone in Aspen is so friendly and the Snow Lodge is like a family here so I've been working here now for a few weeks and I absolutely love it. I never want to leave. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> I'm Tess. Um, I am a singer, songwriter, performer um, based in Los Angeles. Um, I studied musical theater at Syracuse University in New York and I uh, was going to show off Broadway for almost a year. I played Sandy in Greece. Oh, and then Whoa. I booked a pilot and moved to Los Angeles after that and pursued acting and then um, for my love of music started writing for different artists. first song that launched my career um, was very big in Europe, very popular in Europe. So yeah, I, I'm just I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm slowly releasing my project as a solo artist. This is Tess. <laughs> 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 
And in terms of skiing, how that all ties in, my family lives in Aspen. And um, when I graduated from high school as a gift, they flew me out here. I really learned how to ski through them, and now it's become a huge part of my life. And I've gotten to sing at a couple venues in town as well. So. So this is for, um, for um, International Women's Day because this is how I feel about all of us and how we need to support each other. So, all right. <laughs> Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need Bradbury, um, I live in Vail, Colorado. Uh, we lived in Beijing for um, 17 years. And in China, I used to have a candy company, so we have seen like the five-star hotels throughout China. And we sold it two and a half years ago, and my husband said, gave me like three months, and I had just finished the gala or something like that that I was co-chairing. And he goes, that's just, you're too young to just be gala co-chair, and like, you know, come on. So my husband has a um, manufacturing background in China for the last like 25 years. And I was always like, no, I like to buy it. Like, I don't want to design it and everything. Um, but we sort of stumbled on an idea of just doing these cute little vests. Um, and so it sort of started Christmas Eve because I had asked for a certain vest and my husband said, no, it's too expensive. We can do it um, much more affordably. <laughs> and I think there's a market for that. And so that's what we've basically done. And we've been now online selling for the last six or eight months. And every month it's just this like trajectory of it's that dream where, you know, the first month was like $3,000 and I'm like, yay, I'm done, you know, this is great and everything. And then, but then it's like 10000 and then 20000 and then by Christmas it was 120000 and we're going to do little micro brands um, that we're having some shoes made. Um, we're doing silk sheets, <laughs> which is just so fun. So anyways, but it's just this like cool little thing. And then so Coats of London, um, my husband, um, it's, it's like a, it's a bit of a story, but um, Coats means cottage um, in Old English. And so he has said, well, let's just cottage everything. Like we'll house all the micro brands in Coats of London. So that's what we're working on, which is super fun. Yay! 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 So my name is Salma Fonseca. I'm from Brazil, from Sao Paulo. That's where I was born. And then when I was 16, I went to Greece because my mother was living there. So I lived there for four years. <clears throat> and then when I was 19, I came here. I um, didn't speak a word of English. You know, didn't know anybody, but I was in love with someone. <laughs> Of course, because of love, I decided to stay. And I had a lot of careers. I, I'm a photographer, writer. I used to own a flower shop in New York. Um, that's why I always do like some flowers here, you know, at the Snow Lodge. <clears throat> I also uh, designed jewelry for 10 years for Harry Winston and Tiffany's. Um, <laughs> and, um, for 15 years, I, I uh, wrote for the New York, New York Daily News. So um, you learned English. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I don't know how I'm a writer. That's hilarious. So, and now I have been writing for Billboard about music. <laughs> and I uh, interview a lot of, you know, musicians. I, I think the most legendary person I interview was Yoko Ono. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really amazing. You know, Jema, who owns the Snow Lodge, Surf Lodge, is my best friend. And uh, she's like, I'm gonna open a place in Aspen, you know, let's go over there and open it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.